Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you how you can prune your angel wing begonias. So there's two reasons why I like doing this. The first reason is it's gonna create a more full looking plant. They start to get really leggy and long if you don't prune them back and pruning them allows them to have a more bushy appearance. And the second reason is you can take the cuttings and you can propagate them. So you can essentially make more plants from your cuttings. And they're really easy to propagate. I'm gonna show you two ways today how I propagate them. One of the ways is just the simple water method. And then the second way is using soil and rooting hormone. So if you're interested in learning how to propagate and prune your angeling begonias, just keep on watching and we'll get into the video. So we're gonna start by just making some cuts on our plant. So I'm gonna bring you in close so you can see the branch I'm working with. And when you're making your cut, you just want to make sure that you're making your cut about a quarter of an inch approximately above a leaf. So this is the leaf that we are going to be cutting above. So it's very important to use sterile gardening shears. I like to clean mine with alcohol to make sure that all the germs are removed. All right, so we're gonna start by making our cut. All right, so it's, it doesn't have to be exactly a quarter of an inch, but about right there is good. So that's what the first cut looks like. The next branch that I want to prune is this one. It's really long and it looks like kind of out of place since the other branches are shorter. So let's see. So I'm gonna make my cut right here, right above this leaf. I just wanted to show you as an example, this is my cotton candy begonia and I pruned it back maybe a week or two ago. This is the place where I made my cut and there's already a new leaf growing, so that's what's gonna happen. Wherever you make your cut, it'll start a new branch from that location and kind of branch to the side, so it creates a more bushy looking plant. And I do this every few weeks, just whenever I notice that it's getting a little bit leggy. So now I'm gonna show you what I do with those cuttings that I just made with my Begonia Whitey Eye, and I'll show you how you can propagate it in water and in soil. The first method you can use when propagating is the water method. It's probably the simpler of the two. Basically, you just take your cuttings, you pop them in some water, and after a few weeks, they will start to grow roots. So you can see in this jar, there's plenty of roots that have grown, and I can pretty much pot up these cuttings at any point, and I'm sure they would do fine adjusting to soil. But I'm also going to show you how you can use the soil method, and that's what a lot of nurseries prefer to use. So I'm just gonna start by dipping the ends of my cuttings in this rooting hormone. So now I'm all set to start potting up my cuttings. I just like to take some chopstick that I use for gardening and I'm just gonna kind of loosen up the soil and make a two holes for those cuttings to sit inside. And I just like to kind of press down the soil lightly to keep them up straight. So now I'm just gonna water the soil so that it's moist until water runs out of the drainage holes. So the final step is we want to create a humid environment for these cuttings to live in. So the key for most propagations is you wanna make sure the air stays as humid as possible and that is gonna really help with root development. So what I'm gonna be using is just a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag, and I'm gonna just place my cutting inside of there. And you can also do this with any kind of propagation you have. I had some people ask me um, if they can use something besides a propagation box when propagating, and you totally can. Um, like this type of a bag will work perfectly fine. So once your propagation is inside of the bag, what I would recommend doing is every few days you want to mist inside of the bag with a spray bottle. And this is a Ziploc bag, so I can seal up most of it. So I'm just gonna take my spray bottle and mist the inside to help increase the humidity level. And then I'm gonna partially seal it and just leave a little air hole just to allow some oxygen to come through. And another good tip is you can also take a Sharpie and write the date on the bag just to keep track of how long it takes you to propagate and root your cutting. And a good place to put your propagation is in bright and direct light. You don't want any direct sunlight hitting the leaves because that could cause the plant to get stressed out since it's not gonna be focusing on leaves, it's gonna be focusing on creating roots. So any type of bright and direct light would be great for this plant. So I'm definitely gonna update you guys when it comes to this propagation on my Instagram, it's Juju Succulent. So make sure to go follow me over there so you can be 
updated with the progress of this propagation. Um, and I'll also make a follow-up video for you. And if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comment section. I love to answer any questions you might have. And please subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. I make videos every week. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.